Like all of these abstractions we built upon, abstraction upon abstraction upon abstraction in the financial world, which no single human understood. Um, a, a lot of time is spent uh, thinking about something uh, and talking about it. Yeah. Um, but when you actually get something down, either on paper or in code, you know, in front of someone, mm -hmm. that's when things start happening. Mm -hmm. And um, you're going to make a lot of mistakes. Mm -hmm. The important thing is that you make decisions and you keep moving forward. Mm -hmm. um, but you have to get it out there. You have, yeah. to, you have to start and you have to be uh, uh, brave enough to, to take the criticism. Mm -hmm. I, I always go back to the, the punk movement in the 70s. You know, mm -hmm. People would get out, they'd be on the street, and they, they, would, they, would be, uh, they would be learning in front of people. It, like, they get out on the street and it's the first time with a guitar. Yeah. And you know, they're learning how to play and they're getting better and better and better. And I think it's really important to just get it down, do it. I think that's one of the strongest things you can cultivate as an entrepreneur is to um, not rely on luck, but cultivating an ability to recognize fortunate situations when they're occurring. Odeo was a very fortunate situation. Could have taken that idea, not told it to Ev, not told it to Biz, not, not told it to Noah and, and all my other co-workers at Odeo and tried to start my own company with, with that idea. But the fortunate situation was that I was working with some really amazing people and we had a great team. So of course, you know, it makes sense to start there. The fortunate situation for Square was that in 2008, the end of 2008, the entire market was crashing down. Like all of these abstractions we built upon, abstraction upon abstraction upon abstraction in the financial world, which no single human understood, were now falling apart. And suddenly we were getting back to basics, back to fundamentals. Management teams were being asked to leave. Banks were failing. You know, people were, were clarifying around, like we need to start getting innovative. We need to start treating our customers so poorly. We need to start in we need to stop, you know, encouraging bad behavior to reap fees. Mm -hmm. Like we need to really turn this whole thing around. And anytime there's a recession or a depression, that's a great time to innovate, start a company, start a project, you know, do anything. So, you know, we recognize we recognize that time and at the same time my, my co founder Jim re you know, recontacted me. He I've known him since I was fifteen years old. He was my boss when I was fifteen years old. And uh, he's like Jack, I want to talk to you. Um, I want to I want to build an electronic car company. I'm like, that's interesting. And he was thinking about it because the car industry was failing as well. And like, he was like, why don't we just give these car companies to well-seasoned entrepreneurs? Like, why don't we give Ford to Steve Jobs? And like, you know, that would be amazing. X, yeah, <laughs> it would be amazing. Um, and like, you know, GM to uh, Ellison or like whatnot. He's like, and also I want to start an electronic car company. I'm like, you know, that that's ambitious. My goal is to simplify complexity. I just want to build stuff that really simplifies our base human interaction. Twitter was around communication and visualizing what was happening in the world in real time. Square was allowing everyone to accept the form of payment that people have in their pocket today, which is a credit card. So we've built the simplest way to accept credit cards. And it's just this little tiny device that we give away for free and you just download some software from the app store and you plug it in to your mobile phone or your iPad and suddenly you can take credit cards. So if you're a tax accountant or a lawyer or a doctor or you know even a hairstylist, you can now accept credit cards. It's really that the users help decide where we go. Mm -hmm. um, we are the curators of the technology mm -hmm. and we think we're pretty good at it. Mm -hmm. um, but, and this leads into my third lesson, is you, know, you, you need to listen. You need to be still and really listen to, to what's going on around mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. um, and let that inform and let that inspire uh, your next steps. It's really important um, that, that you're able to step yeah. back and listen to, to what's going on and, and what patterns emerge mm -hmm. so that you can really consider those and, and move them.